if you missed our last vlog, we road tripped from Washington to Texas and we're now calling this our home base while we finish the van and hopefully take off at the end of this month. It's gonna be tight. So we are leaving for Italy or we're supposed to leave for Italy on Thursday. Um, we're still kind of talking about if we're gonna actually do that or not or cancel the trip. I hope not cancel know, the trip. Yeah. Um, but we only have like three-ish days to work on the van until we leave and then when we get back we'll have maybe maybe two weeks we're kind of reworking a few things trying to get this van done because we have to hit the road at by august 3rd at the absolute latest we have yeah. somewhere we need to be on august 6th so it's crunch time but thankfully my mom and dad have been awesome and they've done a little bit of work on the van while we've been gone so let's show yeah. you what we've done since our last van video okay if you look here one really noticeable thing here the bright red here is called red guard and this is a, a water sealant or protectant for uh, the wood here. So, and then tomorrow, hopefully we're getting to put on the FRP board, which is like the, wa the walling of the shower, so. You might also notice some wires and some boxes on the wall. So we've started to kind of get wires running through stuff. Nothing's wired up yet, and we're not professionals at electrical, so we don't plan to cover that in too much detail. Thankfully, my dad's really knowledgeable on it. But we do have some wires coming out of some spots where our outlets and our light switches will go, which is exciting. Like this one. Something we were working on last time I was here was the windows here. Uh, and now it's kind of mostly finished now. Uh, but I'm super impressed with this because it's got all framed out here, which is really beautiful to me. And then there's a quarter inch gap here all along the inside edge here where we'll make a reflectix uh, so that it'll keep the heat out and keep the cool in and vice versa. So it'll go up in there and then it can slide up in there. One big thing that Adam worked on today is getting our headliner shelf made. So he made a template and then this is what it'll look like. So basically this is the part that will, this is the bottom part. So this is the part that will like be right above our heads and this is the top part where we'll actually store stuff. So we have done polyurethane on this and the next step is to actually put the headliner fabric on this side. That way it kind of blends in a little bit better. We also have some brackets that we've painted that will be used to actually attach it to the headliner. So this is the butcher block countertop that's gonna go on top of our dresser. So we cut it to size, we sanded the edges here so that it's it's nice there and smooth. And then what this monstrosity <laughs> of a design is, is took a, a drill bit, a certain type of drill bit to drill out these holes. And the point of this was to hopefully take some of the mass, some of the weight off of this, make it a little lighter, maybe save a little fuel economy and just overall weight on the on the van. super heavy. this is dense and heavy, so. So obviously this is the part that will be underneath the counter, yeah. so it's not gonna be the part you see. Yeah. Just wanted obviously. to mention that, I think it's obvious, but just in case you're wondering what our style is all about. <laughs> there you go. So the goal for tonight is to get the headliner shelf done, that way we can install it first thing tomorrow, and also get going on the butcher block, um, like preparation, I guess, to be stained. So we're gonna sand it, do the wood conditioning, and then hopefully do the first layer, maybe two layers of stain tomorrow, because it's a really long process to do the butcher block. There's like, after you stain it, there's like multiple like 12 hour steps. So it's like a multi-day thing. So we're trying to get that going. Yeah, so we have a, we have a wild Monday night on our hands Woo! here. <laughs> we're gonna go make some steak and then get yeah. back to it. <laughs> So the next step for the headliner is we're placing this headliner shelf on top of the headliner fabric that we bought. It is this black headliner fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It's like a foam kind of backing and then it's the black fabric on the other side. We couldn't really find a headliner fabric that perfectly matched our headliner and without going to see it in person. And it was just gonna be too complicated. So we got this because there are a lot of black accents in the van so it should look okay. For like a more detailed, um, video of how to actually do the whole headliner shelf we've been watching this person's video i think their youtube name is our caravan we'll link to them below it's been super helpful we're honestly just on such a time crunch right now that we can't show like every little step but we highly recommend checking out that video if you want to build one yourself as i cut this i'm leaving some space on each side of the shelf a little extra fabric because we're going to fold it over and then we're going to do spray adhesive to attach it In order to make sure this looks nice when we fold it over, because on these curves, like if you can see, like it wouldn't, it would be like kind of bunched looking. We're gonna cut slits all around the curved spots. That way when we fold it over, there's kind of like a little bit of a gap, I guess, that makes it so it, it lays flat on the side that you'd actually see. And 
And our last task for the night before we go to bed is to work on the butcher block. We're gonna sand it twice with two different like levels of grit. And then we're going to put on the wood conditioner and then we're gonna go to sleep. And then tomorrow morning we will start to stain it. So the reason that you condition the wood before you stain it is to basically make it so when you do stain it, it's more of like an even finish. If you don't precondition the wood, it could be a little like splotchy looking. We don't want that. Ta-da! It's another day of the van build and we're getting some really good stuff done. Let me show you. We got the headliner shelf all in. Boom, boom, boom. And we tested it. And our two empty backpacking packs fit in here and we can fit two sleeping bags in here. And I'm really happy because that was our biggest requirement. That's why we built the shelf is we needed to be able to store our backpacking gear. And the bags when they're full are pretty large. And so we weren't sure if this would work, but it does work. And we'll just store all the extra backpacking stuff in our closet. And I think it's gonna work out perfectly. We also now have the kitchen butcher block cut to fit the sink. It's really cool. One thing that kind of sucks though is um, the butcher blocks are not the same. So they ended up sending us two different kinds of wood. So the thickness of like the wood on the butcher block isn't the same, which really kind of sucks. And we're trying to not be perfectionist about it, but it's too late now to do anything unless we want to spend more money and wait, wait, because we actually had to order these. So Home Depot kind of messed up a bit. It's kind of a bummer, but we'll just say it adds character to the van. Okay, so my big project today is to get the walls in the shower. So what this brown paper is, is a template of the back wall. So the wall that you're looking at right when you're, right when you're facing it. So I made a, I got some paper, uh, kind of cut it to size. And then where the parts that don't fit along the edges, I added some tape here uh, to try to kind of fill in the gaps. And so now this paper is laying on top of the, it's called FRP board. This is the shower walls. Um, so I'm laying this on here. I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to take this bad boy and cut it out. <laughs> so the FRP board that I was practicing on is thinner than the actual FRP board that we're using. So the, uh, the metal shears here, just kind of difficult. So we're going to use the big saw. Another exciting thing that we've done today, which was a continuation of last night's activity, is stain our dresser butcher block. This is after the second coat. May add a third. I'm gonna compare it to the flooring and see how it, how it looks compared to that. We have the first wall of the FRP cut. Now we're gonna put it in. We're using this FRP adhesive to attach it to the shower walls in this V-notch trowel. Once we got the FRP board on, we used a J roller to push the FRP board against the wall and the adhesive, compress it, and just make sure it was evenly spread out. And now we've put some wood up to hold it in place and let it sit overnight, and we're gonna start making templates for all the other parts. Another late night at the Van Build Central. Uh, so we just, uh, I made templates for the walls of the, the side walls of the bathroom. And then we laid the templates out onto the full sheet of FRP board, traced it out and then cut it out with the jigsaw. And then we placed them inside the shower to make sure that they fit. They didn't at first. So we made some modifications and now they fit really, really well. So it's dark now. We don't really feel like applying the FRP adhesive in the dark. So we're gonna wait till tomorrow to get the shower finished, but things are looking really good for the shower. We should have all the walls up tomorrow morning. So our next step is very similar to last night. We are gonna be sanding and conditioning our table and also the piece that goes next to the table that makes the bed. So this is not butcher block, it's just regular wood. I don't remember what kind of wood it is, but we still need to sand it, condition it so we can stain it tomorrow. We bought a fancy new sander today because the other one wasn't doing so hot, so excited to try it out. I've learned that I don't really like sanding. It's not the best sensation on your hand as it's like vibrating and it kind of hurts. Getting all the pencil marks and glue off isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Whew. That's a wrap on tonight. It's time to go to bed. All right, so big step forward. So our first task for today was to get all the shower walls in. Yesterday we got this back one on. 
Uh, and so first thing this morning, got this guy on, the one over here, and then I cut the rest of the trim pieces all around. So all that's left to finish it off is to add the caulking around so that it's watertight. Rain delay. So one thing that has gone wrong today is I stained our tabletop and noticed that there were scratches all over it. And we don't know how it happened because we swear that when we sanded it last night, we, we did it the correct way. So we're not sure if something else happened or what, but so now I get to sand it down again, which is a lot of hard work. It's a good shoulder workout and then restain it. So kind of a bummer to get delays because we're already behind, but that's just how it's been going. So the next fun task of the van build is installing an isolator. So this will allow the, as we're driving, the alternator will charge the house batteries. So it's been a uh, quite a process even just learning how this works. Uh, it's actually a simple thing, but trying to figure out what I actually need to do it. So uh, there's a diagram that connects the alternator to the battery, to the back batteries, the house batteries. So the seats are off because I had to get to the battery to unplug the battery basically so that I could uh, unplug the airbags and so it doesn't set off like a sensor alarm. Which you'll have to pay for if... And you have to go to the dealer and pay for them to re redo it, so to fix it. So uh, we learned that last time and they helped us out. They gave us time, a free so. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they gave us our freebie. So the seats are off and I'm running the, these thick wires up under uh from the battery under the driver's seat under this channel here under the passenger seat the heater's in there and then up under through here under this uh casing i guess it's gonna go up and over and back to our control panel back there and then eventually to our batteries so with the isolator this gives us three options to charge from so we've got the isolator so while we're driving it'll charge the house batteries the solar will be charging the house batteries and then if we're in a pinch or a pickle we can uh, plug into the isolator for shore power uh, like at a campsite or a house a friend's house something like that so we are taken care of on power which is good because if say we're up in the pacific northwest for a long time and the sun's not really out i'm sure the solar the solar powers still do charge but maybe just not as well so it's nice to have options so we can charge all of our electronics and work from the van and all that fun stuff so that's a wrap on another day of the van build i'm exhausted are you exhausted so tired it's been oh, a God. long few days yeah so we actually have half a day tomorrow to work on the van before we go to italy we're so excited Eat we are doing it, it. we, just, we we're maybe gonna cancel, but we're gonna go. Yeah. My nose, Adam got a fresh new haircut yeah. for our trip. Can't, can't <laughs> Snuck go, away. Can't go on vacation looking like a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have half a day tomorrow to work on the van before we have to catch our flight. And it's the 4th of July, so we're both off tomorrow. But we don't want to have to wait to post this vlog until we're back. So this is the end of this vlog. We do hope that we'll have one more van update vlog for you before our van tour. Huge big exciting <laughs> <laughs> goes live which we're nowhere near ready for that yet so no, we'll see what happens still but got a ways to go just so you know what to expect the next few weeks we're gonna have tons of italy vlogs like a ton of them so stay tuned for that and then when we get back from italy we're gonna have probably two weeks to work on the van so we'll try to squeeze out another van update vlog for you guys but yeah it's gonna be crunch time when we get back we have a lot to do we don't have much time so we'll see what happens but yeah. Wish us <sighs> luck. Yeah, we're going to enjoy our time in Italy. Try not to stress sure, about the van. Sure. Then we get back, we're going to hit it pretty hard. And it will get done, and it's going to be awesome. And we cannot wait. Can't wait. <laughs> we're back. If you missed our... <laughs> 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 I didn't expect you to go so long. Right. Oh. This is a kind of our... La -la -la. Sanding our... La -la -la. Ain't nobody got time for splashy butcher block. Mm -hmm.